Hey everybody, Jeff Thorne here. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about training plans and workouts and how you can use them to increase your performance or just meet your fitness goals. So like I said in the intro, this video is gonna be all about training plans and workouts. And honestly, this could be a whole 10 part series. I mean, there's over 720 individualized workouts within our app. And of course it's all free, which is awesome. But first let's just go ahead and you can see at the top we have workouts and training plans. Let's just go to workouts and kind of get this going. Now, one thing I wanna point out is the difference between training plans and workouts. And this is kind of, honestly, we get some questions about this and it's totally fine. The difference between training plans and workouts, let's say I'm short on time. I just need to get a workout in for today and move on with my life and maybe I can do another one tomorrow. And I'm not looking for a whole structured plan that's gonna take me you know, two to four, six weeks to complete. I just wanna get some normal fitness in, um, feel better about everything, and yeah, kinda get on with my day. So like, like perfect example, under 35 minutes. So this one here, it's just gonna go ahead and give you a description of what it is, VO2 VO2 max by three. And you can see on the left, there's all sorts of different ones to, to uh, choose from as well. From here, you can go ahead and add it to your calendar, which I've shown in previous videos. I'll just go ahead and pull it up anyways and show you. So it's like, yeah, okay, add it to today. Or you can go ahead and add it all the way across it. It's totally up to you what you can do. Let's just go ahead and remove this one here. But for this video, we're mainly gonna focus on training plans. So on the top, just tap on training plans and you can go ahead and see here on the far left, we have a total of nine different training plans. And with each of these training plans, you can see just to the right of it, we have five separate phases. Now, just to start off with Criterion, because it's the first one on our list, you can go ahead and see that we have an early base, late base, early build, late build, and preparation. Tap on early base, and it's gonna go ahead and give you a really nice description of what this plan is going to entail. Uh, and you can see in the top right of all the different phases that it will, it'll tell you how long this plan is. So this plan is currently four weeks for our early base. And if you don't know what early base is, if you're new to the whole cycling or, or training plans uh, experience or world, if you will, early base is essentially building a foundation. So before you build a house, you have to lay a nice foundation in order to build the walls and the roof and everything from there. So that's what your early base is going to be. So if I'm absent for a while from cycling or if I'm new to cycling, building a base is kind of like the number one step. If you wanna get better and better and get more fit and become faster on the bike, Early base, building that foundation is where you're always going to want to start. So after an early base, you can go ahead and click on your late base. And again, this is another four week plan. So now we're eight weeks into this criterion based training plan. And essentially what this is going to do, this is going to be building on the previous four weeks of your early base. So here you just kind of pick up where you left off with that and you're just going to take it to the next level essentially. And then of course, like I said before, early build, late build, and preparation. And preparation is pretty much going to be not so much high intensity stuff. It's gonna be more of like tapering, if you will. So you're gonna have some, some normal workouts in there, but then you're gonna taper off. This is if you are going to be preparing for a race, for example. So I've done this whole criterium training plan. I have a criterium in four weeks time. So now I'm gonna do this preparation phase. And what this is gonna do, like I said, it's just gonna prepare you for when the race day comes. So you're gonna have some intensity and then you're gonna to start to taper down and really cool off the legs, let the body relax. And that way you're all ready for race day. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try to find a workout that you want to select. So for me, it's gonna be road racing. And I am a little bit past the early base phase. So you know what, I think I'm going to start with late base. Then go ahead and select late base. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and add this to the calendar. It's gonna automatically take you into your calendar. And from here you can see, all right, so today is currently the second. When do I wanna start this? Let's say I want to start this on Friday. So you can go ahead and tap on the fifth, which is Friday, and then the top right green check mark. And then the whole workout is gonna be populated into your calendar automatically. And so as you can see here, just take a quick scroll, starting from the 5th all the way until the 31st, at least for August, and then up into September 1st, I have this whole late base plan ready to go. So as soon as I come in, let's say Friday, I'm gonna hop on the bike, I'm just gonna go ahead and tap base miles three, and then I'll just tap workout, and that's that. So from here, within the calendar, there's actually a lot of things that you can do. Um, and one thing that we really encourage you to do is to fully use the calendar. It Make it your best friend because it can do a lot of stuff and it can really help you. As soon as you hop on the bike, log in, go to your calendar, hit your workout. There's no thinking or guessing to do anything. You just hop on and get your fitness in and, and that's it. So let's just go ahead and say, 
you know what? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, these workouts were really good. Monday, I wanna take a break. So with Monday, I can just go ahead and come in, tap on this X, and I can delete that workout. Of course, it's not gonna benefit you if you don't follow the whole plan, but I mean, you can't do everything all the time. Sometimes you just wanna get a free ride in or whatever. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and remove it from my calendar and then I can come in and I can just add a free ride or maybe a separate workout. Maybe I wanna do a sprinting or a VO2 max test or something my coach has laid out. So that is also a feature that you can do. So that's a wrap on training plans and workouts for now. This is not gonna be the only video about it. There's gonna be a lot more coming because this category is so large. So we're going to be talking about this for a long time to come, but this gives you an early insight as to the difference between training plans and workouts, and hopefully you can find one to suit your needs. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.